Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, we'll be downloading Top 5 Must Have Android Alpha 2024. This is December Part 1 series. And if you missed my previous video, don't worry about it. I'll throw a card on the corner right here, which is Android Must Have Playlist. And I'll throw everything in a link in the description below, including all the download links, the chapters, and all the Android related videos from this channel. And you won't miss out on anything. And if you like this type of video, guys, consider subscribing and smash that like button. And I really want to shout out to all my subscribers who's been helping and supporting supporting this channel grow fast that I really appreciate that one guys that means a world to me thank you and for disclaimer purpose these videos are for education purpose only once that's out of the way let's go install some crazy Android free apps out there let's go okay number one in the list is called pixel search so pixel search it is a great app by far I've installed on my device and let me explain to you why you need this one if you're using any sort of a launcher then I want you to pause this video and then try to search anything search for myself here and you will be able to see there are certain things it pops out in search obviously Google Chrome YouTube Maps uh, Google Play Store and search yourself in Netflix and or X or Bing or anything but if you try to do the same thing like this in a Nova launcher and they'll try to do the same thing and you will see what happens is nothing comes out and I don't know how to turn it on if you know how to turn it on you can comment down below as well but having this pixel search contact you can search um, web page as well and the beauty of this one is you can actually keep it as in a just a normal visit as well if you press this three dot menu and then we're going to explore a couple of things here. First is theme. If you want to set up a different theme, light, dark system, and but you want to do battery saver, you can do that. You can set up icon pack if you like it. Where do you want to search, um, which is search bar is on the top or on the bottom. Quick launch your first app in search. If you want to do that, you can do that as well. Search settings is that search with default Google app, or you can set up the different one as well. Uh, search, which is a quick search app. You can get that as well. The search preference is where the app shines, app and shortcuts, web suggestions, contacts and files look at the bottom this is a search wizard you can get the install this wizard as well search in tiles a digital assistant this is a by far great app I've installed on my device and I love it and I use it every single day more than actually the novel launcher settings here to be honest I can just tap it in here I can start searching apps or web pages anytime so this is a great app to install let's go to number two okay next app on the list it is a game changer let's step up the game it's called easy transcripts so easy transcripts it is an AI based voice note that can actually transcribe to multiple different languages and it is completely free. Watch this demonstration and then you decide whether you need this application or not. And hi, this is Tess, a video for all my subscribers out there. If you like this video, smash that like button, consider subscribing and tell me whether this application is good or not. So when I press it, you see here, it actually um, does any recording. So uh, let's listen to this audio. Press that. And hi, this is Tess, a video for all my subscribers out there. If you like this video, smash that like button, consider subscribing, and tell me whether this application is good or not. So you can see it actually works and there's technically a zero bloatware and it's completely free. When you press this three dot menu, you can see you can copy this text, share this one. If you want to share this voice note in a meeting and you want to get something transcribed, you can do that. Export it, different language, you can change it to different language. You want to get information of when it was recorded, you can do that. Auto scrolling, you just saw that scrolling moved and the text size, depending on what size you want to get it, or if you want to delete it. The, another thing you can see right here is a couple of stars is it has an AI built in you just want to summarize the entire text for example you're in a meeting and you just recorded the entire meeting and you want to get summarized out of this meeting guess what you press that summarize and then wait for a few seconds and it actually summarize the whole thing for you the only thing is uh, AI system needs internet connection but rest does not need internet connection and let's go back in the settings press this three dot menu at the very first page press settings you can see it actually transcribe language it says auto detect you can select English or you can select more language and when you install this application for the very first time it will actually download 148 megabytes of like a language package and you can see in a general setting it says language packages click on that one and it says a multi-language it can transcribe 25 languages enable translate to English so you press see language package Arabic Cantonese Chinese English French you can see that the list is like huge and if you speak one of them language guess what you can speak your own language they actually transcribe to English at the same time so this is is a great app you can install on your device and you can comment down below if you like this application or not or what sort of scenario you are planning to use so let's move into number 
three. Okay, number three in the list is called TimeWise. So TimeWise, it is a great app you can install if you wanna track some event or you are looking for for something. For example, I just put a random event there which is just to subscribe to the channel. But if you go back and visit here, this is the home visit events or you can see this is 2024. There's 13 days to hit 2025. There's new is coming guys. I'm excited for that one for 2025. I don't know how excited you are, but let's come back to this topic. So what it actually does, if you go back here, you press a plus, you can set up an event name. You can set up whatever, if you're flying somewhere else, like example, flying so and then you can set up a notification and what event you actually you want to get a notification from that one or reminder me before wherever you are going pick up duration it's hour minute or second you can set up that and all the event or repeat that event weekly or something it's just a reminder for you you can actually sync this one from your calendar event as well and you can enable the start time or and then you can enable the end time at the same time so once you do that you'll be able to see the days remaining for that so for example i'm looking for for christmas i'm looking for new year and i'm looking for for flying at the same time so i can actually track this one not only that it actually can go back on your visit as well depending on what sort of launcher you use you will be able to use this one in there so you can i know for sure now in 14 days it's going to hit 2025 this is the beauty of having the application manage your time in a different way so you can it's a more visual representation of uh, your deadlines that's the app number three let's move into app number four okay number four on the list is called on voice note and you must be thinking why am i showing two exact same application and the same thing let me explain you what it can do and that other application was not able to do so first of all this is a obviously free version you can upgrade to pro if you like it first you can record it as normal you can ask ai as normal the third thing is you can press here create once you create depending on your need it can actually do things in a different way first of all you can summarize the selected note with the notes on the bottom you can do to do list for example if your wife has given you things to do at your home guess what you can select that as well if you are doing first grocery you can there's a list point as well if you want to do some email based on that note which is version you could set up an email the ai is going to write the email for example let's do create an email of that and press create ai is writing an email wait for a few seconds and it will actually generate an email for you or generate a tweet depending on what scenario you want to use it for so you can see subject test videos hey subscribe I hope you find the email. You can see literally it actually writes an email for you and you can copy and paste it. If you, if you go back here, if you want to do tweet, you can do tweet. If you want to do blog post, you can do blog post. The another beauty of this application is if you press that, scroll down all the way to the bottom, we see you can, your plan is free. Language, it actually detects the language, but the language package is huge. You can actually select multiple different languages depending on what country you're from it actually supports a various different languages uh, but you just have to sign yourself up create a free account and you'll be able to use this one this is the beauty of this application you can comment down below which one is your favorite and why are you going to use or which one you're going to choose for your daily life let's move into number five okay number five in the list is called app list backup so you have installed all this application and there will be no point if you do not back up that application so this is a very simple app but what it does it actually saves a lot of things for example you install multiple application and then guess what you give it to your kid and then the kid just uninstall the application or delete the application and you don't know where you're gonna get it guess what if you have this application you run a backup you have a snapshot of all the application let me show you my application backup you can see I backed up all this next cloud uh, they just random various tail scale I've already done that one and the thing is you can select from Android or play market that means play store you can select where you can download from it does not actually saves all the internal data but it only snapshot of your installed application this is good another thing you can back up this one on cloud as i use next class server i back up this one on next class server at the same time and this actually only does a snapshot by the way it does not actually keeps all your internal information just to let you know and that another thing it actually does if you install an app called tasker and one thing it does extra it can run automation form as well if you install an app called tasker you can select this one as the extension and guess what you can run this backup automatically every single night or whatever time or every weekly or yearly depending on your need as well so this sums up my total top five must have android app for 2024 december part one series and you can comment down below which one is your favorite one meanwhile guys be happy stay safe and this is genius x6 signing out peace